Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing a quick update on the kids bathroom makeover that I did where I replaced the floors, well not replaced, but did them over, did the tub over, did the cabinets and painted the bathroom. Right now these images, these videos are of the bathroom in its dirty state, so it's not clean right now. I also did install a new vanity light. I'll put the link down below to the light. It's so pretty. Um, did take a while because it is LED, but um, yeah, I got it up there. All right, it isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to clean the bathroom real quick to show you guys how easy it is to clean the tub shower surround after painting it using the tub and tile kit from Rustoleum. I use two kits. Please, if you guys watch that video of me doing the shower, I do mention everything I use and the amount that I use. So if you ask the question, of what I used and it was mentioned in the video chances is I'm not gonna answer it you know I just want you to pay attention to the video and not skip it and then ask me a question in the comment section <laughs> that was already answered so you can use whatever cleaning solution you like okay um, it does not require anything super harsh that you need to be scrubbing and taking forever this is the awesome brand um, bathroom cleaner i got this from the local dollar store okay i literally spray it i let it sit for maybe two minutes five minutes the most and then i go in with a microfiber cloth and wipe it off it has never been an issue to clean the kids even like it now to clean the bathroom better than how it was before with the older uh tub shower surround um material I guess that plastic I'm not sure what kind of plastic that stuff is but it's really hard to clean once there's soap scum build up and all of that with this you know when you have the cleaner on it pretty much kind of melts it away you rub it off you can use a sponge if you want to but again you don't need to use anything abrasive once you have it all cleaned off you just rinse it off here I'm just using a little cup or you could use a little bowl and rinse off the sides and the tub itself and that is it it takes me about five minutes to clean the tub shower surround for the kids usually takes them longer because you know your kids and they're fussing and fighting and arguing about every little thing but um <laughs> it is easier for them to clean so far no chipping no peeling no nothing it actually feels like almost like a um you know when you get your tubs reglazed that's how it feels in this tub shower surround I actually took a bubble bath in the tub just to kind of test it out for myself and it really does give me that feeling of a glazed tub okay and definitely don't miss the old one so here's a picture of the old tub shower Ugh. <laughs> yeah it needed to go okay so once I have it rinsed off you know you could dry it off if you want to I just let it dry on its own and it still has a nice beautiful shine it's been about I want to say almost six months now since I've done this so you know I could be off by a month or two but it usually takes me about a week or two to edit videos, um, especially DIY videos, and get them done for you guys. So, um, you know, because the DIY project itself takes about a week. This one took me seven days, I think, seven to eight days to complete, um, to clean it off. And um, I did see some comments where some people were suggesting certain cleaning products for the old way the tub used to look, the tub shower. It doesn't matter what cleaning product I use on that tub shower surround. The thing is, that's the color it was. It wasn't dirt. It's just that's just the color it was. That's how it was bought. Someone picked that and installed it in this bathroom. Okay, and I was not a fan. So it had to go. I don't, I'm not sure what that color is. Like a like a ivory yellow stomach acid color. I'm not exactly sure how to describe that ugly tub shower surround. Some people may like it and people like me we just don't okay it just it just looks not cute all right so this is the cabinet that i redid where i took the old veneer off the cabinet which revealed that the cabinets were made with mdf which is a 
wood product. It's not solid wood, but it is made out of wood. So I use the Sincer primer to prime the cabinets and I use a small sample of paint to paint the entire cabinets. I did two coats of paint on the cabinet. The sample was just enough for the cabinet, okay? I also did a protective coat over it using the polycrylic um, finish. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm messing up some of the words or I'm forgetting. Like My memory is so shot. This pregnancy brain is hilarious. All right, so as far as the sink, I know some of you guys also asked about the sink and how it's holding up. And I also saw that some of you guys weren't understanding the difference between epoxy and paint. You know, I even had someone argue with me about I won't need to paint the countertop often and I can use contact paper. I mean, if you are single and you live in an apartment where you can't do anything really permanent to your countertops, you can go ahead and, um, and I mean single with no children. Okay, you could go ahead and use contact paper, but it is not durable. It, it isn't, I'm sorry, it's not. Contact paper, I have used it in the past when I lived in um, apartments in New York City, in the Bronx, and those things get dinged up, scratched, the color fades after a while, they peel, you know, I, I don't even know why that comment was left. Maybe the person felt like they were being helpful, but it also felt like they were confused on what epoxy is and what paint is. Yes, paint was used for the countertop, but I did not actually paint the countertop with paint you know what I mean so the paint was used and a primer was used to make the whole countertop white yes and paint was also used to tint give color to the epoxy product that was poured over the primer and paint and paint was again used to tint the gray parts that created the marble effect on the countertop and then a clear epoxy was used to give it a clear coat so it's a bit more you know durable which is uh, it didn't need the clear coat but because this is my kids bathroom and I have three children um, two teenagers and a big kid you know um, you know it, I just wanted that extra layer you know what I mean and if I don't like it anymore, all I have to do is lightly sand it down and do another coat of epoxy, not paint. If I want a different color of epoxy, I'll tint it, okay? The white tint was a urethane paint, not a latex. The gray tint was a latex sample that I use, a latex paint sample that I use. So hopefully that clears things up for this person because they started to argue with me. Like, I don't even understand why. All right, but these are the floors. You guys also wanted an update on the floors. I just cleaned the left side so you could see how it looks when it's clean. And then the right side, it's about two weeks worth of dirt buildup on it. It doesn't really get super, super dirty. You don't notice it, but when you clean it, you do notice that it was dirty. So the floors are holding up really well. They actually feel more secure now than they did when I first installed them. After being walked on so much, they've really bonded to the old tile that is hopefully slowly dying underneath it's not dying it's just still there hiding but um yeah it's a good cover-up so I hope you guys enjoyed this update video if you did give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see how I redid my kids bathroom gave it a makeover and how I did the countertops I'll have the links to the videos in the description box in the comment section and in the end of this video I do plan on changing the bathroom door after I give birth because I hate hanging doors and it's a door, <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of uh, energy to move around such a big item. So yeah, the video will be linked here, right here in the end of the video, description box and the comment section. All right. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the update and I hope to see you in another video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.